So in summary, what we covered today is how to underwrite a self-storage facility. First, we looked at the traffic counts. We wanted to make sure that they were high enough to support the demand. We looked at the demand drivers and demographics. You know, what was the media income? What was the population? Was this surrounded by uh, dense residential? We looked at the competition study. Uh, were the competitors at full occupancy? Were they charging high rates? Uh, is there additional demand in the market? We looked at the supply index number, which was the supply and demand analysis. And we got to that by dividing the net rentable square feet by the population in that trade area. And then last but not least, we looked at the property analysis, which was very favorable. Um, and we looked at the numbers and the condition and the value add opportunities. So if you uh, would like to learn more about self-storage, feel free to hit me up, The Storage Stud. You can go to our website, thestoragestud.com, or you can shoot me an e email at info at titanwealthgroup.com. Thank you very much.